friends, is Arconix Isle. It is a fascinating place with a variety of locations. And it's in what's called the part of the world that's called the Twilight Meridian. We are using the home world of the Break RPG game. But one of the great things that the author has done is that he has left parts of it unfilled, unexplored, unused. And for me, that's super exciting. So this is an island in the Galvanus Archipelago called Arconix Isle. And you can see, uh, if you're looking at the screen on the map, that there's lots of different locations, but we will be starting our adventure right down here in Coral Gate by the sea. Uh, you can see from Coral Gate headed north, you've got Starhaven, Wander's Respite, but even more important is Kyranor, which is the capital of Arconix Isle. Uh, to the south, you've got the Erebrin Bulwark. Even farther down, you've got Willowdale, Lindau, Ashbourne. The Hornberry Ruins are over here. We'll see if our campaign makes it that way. You've got Echo's Watch. And then you've got the Chikrel Tomb. And what's fascinating is Bungren Hold over here. They've built a wall and created this little... Home away from home. Parts of this is going to be important for this campaign. Parts of it, probably less so. But if you want a copy of it, like I said, you can grab it at Roll for Perception or at rfp.gumroad.com. Now, my wonderful group. Let me switch back over. Oh, that's right. Can I? St oh, I can do it still here. Sorry, I'm realizing things. <laughs> My wonderful group. You all did come to this with um, some relationships. And you all have talked about it a little bit. Aya and Droog. Um, best buds. Would that be the best way to, to put that? Yeah, I think that's pretty yep. accurate. Yep. Okay. And um, then, uh, Wimbley, you and Boink, how did you guys meet again? He popped out in my kitchen from a hole in the floor. <laughs> All and, right. then, and then we were best friends because we went on a cake heist, which we got cake. legally. We need cake. We, did, we, cake. Are, we are not wanted in junk town for having stolen cake. You cannot <laughs> prove this. There's no proof, and he's a good guy because he's shorter than me. By like a head, Jason. He is short. I'll agree with that. Statement. I'm a little chibi guy. <laughs> well, we're going to begin our campaign with the group arriving back Coral Gate right on the bay, and I'm switching you all over to that map. Yeah, I will transition. So welcome to Coral Gate, your home away from home. Um, it is a, a city that was founded as a small uh, kind of shipping port. When it was originally founded, it was just a couple of docks a couple of warehouses, an inn, and that was about it, as everything from here traveled north towards the capital. Over time, the city became grander and grander, until the time that it put up a wall to protect itself from bandits and such, and became a proper city. If we look here, a couple of the Areas that are important is the docks down to the south. You've got Squalor's End, which is essentially where the lower class uh, tend to live. Starlight Gardens on the western 
Wall. Gray Cliff Manor, the largest manor in the city. You've got Crestfall Hall. That's where the local government sits. Cobblestone Cobbins, which is a little more upper class living. You've got the Dragon Scale Market over here. I bet those guys have cakes. <laughs> You've got Fimo's College, the only place to learn in Coral Gate. And then the Halivara Cemetery up in the northeastern corner. You all know this area fairly well. You have been here not for a long time, but long enough to know the ins and outs, get to know some of the people. Uh, much of what you've been doing is work whether that is uh, work inside the city or outside the city uh, it could be manual labor it could be adventuring it could be all sorts of things but you've been doing this so that you're able to make some money well you've done very well You've become fairly well-known around town. As you have just returned from an outing, have picked up the money uh, that you deserved, you walk through town. There's a quiet, serene feeling. The sun is out. It's a spring day, and as you're walking, an older woman is standing with fires in her hand. You see tradesmen hawking their wares. And it's then when a man comes up to the four of you and looks. You are uh, you four. You're the um, sugar crush gang. Yeah. Why? Do you have a moment to talk? I think I... Well, you, you guys got a moment, right? Maybe? Yeah, sure. I don't see why not. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, you got cake? It, it's, it's probably not a good idea to run around asking what's the worst that could happen. Just as a... As a simple suggestion. Don, your your face is a little blurry. You've gone fuzzy, oh. Don. <laughs> I went fuzzy. <laughs> like it's like I'm um, blurry. Hold on, let me turn well, it I gotta put on. on my glasses to be able to see Don now. <laughs> oh, if, 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 if you can't on. see him. Oh, there yeah, we go. Hey. Hey. I don't no, know what does it. I don't ever see my face because I have it set to only show like the current person talking, so you know. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. So, continues on. Uh, here, uh, let's step out of the road and we can talk. All right. Okay. All right. The name's Veg Wise Force. Well, that. That's a lot. Veg. V E G. Okay, Veg. Uh-huh. Did you bring anything to eat? Uh. Is it a wise force? Wise force, indeed. How's that spelled? Wise <laughs> force. Okay, well, you know, I'm taking notes for you, DM, so you I gotta spell things for me. <laughs> I got it on the first try. Well done. Now then. Uh... 
<laughs> I, was, I was reading Sinosaurus comment and I just realized why. Because <laughs> it is two of you in front of the book. Covered. <laughs> <clears throat> Look. <clears throat> I've heard about uh, what you've been doing. Making some gold around town. Doing some work. <clears throat> I hear you've been successful. True what I've been hearing? Oh, of course. Obviously. We're really good at it. Hey, you're looking to make a little more money? Yeah. I mean, always, but uh, I'm really concerned about how you worded that one. You got a job first, or what's going on? Droog stands there with a big grin on his face. Look, I run a ship down at the port. I take customers and cargo from here to the other isles in the archipelago. I made a lot of money over the years. I've been successful and I felt good about what I've done. Arca what to go? The archipelago. Archipelago. It's this area with the with the islands and everything. It's a big, long, fancy word. Don't worry about it. it means okay. a bunch of islands all together. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. Oh, oh, okay. It's where we are. It's okay. We got you, Drew. Well, it um seems I'm starting to have some issues. What kind of issues? Are you out of cake? No. No. He didn't come with food, so maybe he's out. Most of my bookings comes through a store, a, a place, Sky, Stay, Sky Sail Expeditions. What's that? Well, it's essentially a, a company that books my passengers so I don't have to. Frees me up to focus on the well, the sailing part of things. Well, that makes sense. Well, as of late, the last uh, month or so, seems bookings are down. <clears throat> I, uh, I walked by the store today and seems to be boarded up. Oh, no. They're it's not probably going to send you much if they're closed. Right. Exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. It needs to be looked at, and um, I'm a little worried. Uh, the owner, Eric Valenwood. That's A-R-I-C. <clears throat> he, um... All right. Yeah. He's always done right by me. So to see... Sky sail boarded up was confusing. The other issue I've been running into, and I don't know, you all sailors of any sorts. Um, uh uh. I, I could fix the boat. I'm probably really good at sailing, though. I was on a ship once. Well, fixing's exactly the issue. Oh. Yeah. I can fix it. Whatever it is, I got it. Yeah. I appreciate that, but I generally trust my work to Bang Clang, the local blacksmith. Pulled in this most recent time. Went to talk to him. Yeah, uh, kind of brushed me off. Something about uh, doesn't have too, time to work. Uh, too much to do. Now, Bang Clank's good. He's fast. He's smart. Something seemed off. Anyways, what I'm asking, what I'm curious about, what I'm hoping you might be able to do is uh, look into a couple of these things. I can give you a couple coin for your services, if you're willing. Sounds easy enough. Well, sure, yeah. Be happy to. Where, where exactly does this blacksmith work? 
that we're supposed to go looking for him at. Well, he's got a he's got a, a storefront. It's down near the docks. We should be able to find it. <laughs> Bang Clang likes to have his name on as much as possible, so there's a sign on it. Big words. Bang Clang. We got you, Rogue. You know how goblins can be. And he looks down at uh, Boing. What does that mean? Yes, I'm actually very curious what that is supposed to mean. That seems very... Uh... I think what you mean to say is goblins are awesome. No offense, uh, friend. Goblins like names that describe the things they're doing. I thought well, he was trying yeah. to say goblins were narcissistic. But... No, well, goblins, that makes sense. Know. Why waste time? Why make up words that don't mean anything? Exactly. Well, bang, clang. There you go. Exactly. See. Now then, if you're up for it, I appreciate it. And um, you can find me down by the docks once you're done checking things out. You got it. I think we can do that. Yeah, do you need us to do one first or... Either one, or you don't care. Uh, entirely up to you. Whatever's easiest, honestly. You got it. Um, Veg uh, looks make at you. Make some food. Make some food when we get there. We're going to be hungry. Oh. Uh, uh. Cakes. Donuts. Cupcakes. Uh, Not cookies, though. Yeah. He just kind of tips his hat after that and uh, nods and heads off on his way. Hope that means you'll have him. What did this guy look like? What was his whole vibe? Because that was, yeah, I would I would like to know. His vibe? <laughs> uh, he, you know, he looked like a, a captain of a ship. Um, human. Uh, medium height. Medium build. Uh, fairly tan skin when you with the skin that you could see um, had a uh, a beard not necessarily well trimmed Drew turns to I and says small man smell weird talk funny uh, yeah I agree actually it was there is a whole whole thing going on there that I don't really know how to describe it, but uh... Well, it needs our help! Well, yeah. He sounds like he wants to pay us for gonna pay. stuff. So let's Helping. do it! We're helpful! Okay, where would it go first? I like Bang Clang! He sounds like he got a straightforward kind of guy! I mean, okay. yeah, it sounds like his 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 whole thing is in in the names. I mean, he's a blacksmith that goes bang and clean, which you know sounds about right, um, for blacksmiths in general. But like, uh, also the other one was kind of boarded up, so I don't really know. There's much. Yeah, we can do I don't it. know, but if it like, I feel like doing a breaking and entering so early in the day, like it. I, I mean, I haven't even properly had snacks yet, so yeah, it's kind maybe, of a two thirty kind of event. <laughs> maybe we can wait till later on on the breaking and entering thing. Um, so yeah, I guess goblins first. All right, this way to the ducks. All right, going the wrong first. direction. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll follow you, uh, Boink, since <laughs> Goblin's first. Boink, Boink, turn. <laughs> we reach out for Wimbley and sort of turns him around as he's pointing to face him in the right direction. <laughs> this way to the docks! There we go! <laughs> so We're not all... going to the docks. We're going to the blacksmith. Drew, Drew has a quizzical look on his face as he says, if, if Bang Clang, if Bang Clang go Bang Clang, uh, how does Boing go Boing? Oh! You want to see? I, I don't have my gear, but I I had some springs. You know what springs are? And it's not a big word, but maybe you know what they are. You don't mean not? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's the sound they make. 
and they're really fun. But boing, um, boing, you have boing, to make boing. sure to use them right, because otherwise you hit your head or crash into the wall. So I, I learned outs- that a few they're, times. They're Drew, an outside Drew, thing. Drew, Drew get head often. Me understand. Yeah. So they're they're just fun. I like the way they sound. I like the way they feel. And you know, the little headaches aren't too bad. Maybe outside. Build, building building sometimes too small for Drug. Well, I was underground. I didn't have an option for outside. Oh, yeah, that would that would that would do it. Let's, when you're in the tunnels. Well, you're in a tunnel. Well, like now that we're in town, you have all this area. You could boing, like you could boing so high, boing. I know. I gotta get oh, bigger springs. Like, way up. I know. Way way up. I'm gonna build something to launch me way up in the sky and then land and see how high I found. I think I oh. see the sun. Oh, the the one with the big anvil on it that says no. bang clang bang clang bang clang on it. Ah, I like it. It's well, really a, straight to the point. I think there's definitely a sign over there, but I'm a little short, so I can't read it too good. You do just you, gotta listen. You, if you hear you, bang clang, you know you're at the right place. Do you want me to pick you up so you can see it better? Yeah. Okay. I uh, will pick him up. See. Yeah. Yeah, it uh, definitely says bang clang. So for people at home who are currently watching, uh, just so you know, we are using um, Questline. Uh, it is a, a, a VTD, which I've never used before. So it's one of those things where I'm going to be discovering things like my ability to actually mark places on the map <laughs> as you guys go to them. Uh, so this was kind of cool than I was not prepared for. Um, so yeah, so uh, so this is cool. Uh, so you guys arrive at uh, Bang Clang, and you see exactly it. It's a giant sign, Bang Clang. You can see there's a Smithy's hammer up there um, on it, uh, painted kind of on it. Um, you can see an anvil painted on it. Um, but the the most prominent part is. Bang clang, and uh, underneath bang clang is uh, the word blacksmith, but it's very small compared compared to his name. Then underneath blacksmith is a smaller sentence that says, "Where the gabo is for you." All right, perfect. Um, I, I think we found the right place. As you go up to the door, though, middle of the day. The door is shut. You reach for the handle. You try to shake it. It's locked. Okay, maybe, maybe a couple of short people reach up. To knock, 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 knock. You knock multiple times, but there does not seem to be an answer. So they're closed too. Well, maybe they're napping. Just maybe. off to the side nap? of the door. On the front wall, uh, you see uh, a scribbled note. And on it, all it says, two words. Went drinking. Maybe we should ask around for the nearest tavern. Went drinking. As you are saying that, uh, you see uh, somebody across the street looks over. You all looking for Bang Clang? It must be at the tavern. It must be called Glug Glug, right? No, dear. Bang Clang don't drink at no place called... Uh, what did you just say, Glug Glug? Glug Glug. That's the sound you make when you drink. Uh, no. that, would, that would be a goblin tavern. Yeah. Probably. Indeed. Indeed. No, no, no. Oh. He's uh, more than... Oh, I just went into the wrong voice. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's going to happen sometimes. Uh, it, more than likely, he's gone to the Wandering Wyvern Inn and Tavern. Wandering Wyvern Inn and Tavern. Uh, okay. Do you know where that is? Um, This week? It oh, changes? It, it walks! I, th- I was about to ask the question all sarcastic, but now I'm very proud of myself for calling it. Well, then maybe <laughs> goblins did have part of the name on it. The wandering, wandering part? Yeah. 
It does indeed walk. It's why it's called the Wandering Wyvern Inn and Tavern. Now, oh. more than likely, uh, she sits and kind of thinks about it. More than likely, north side of the city, probably getting some sun. The tavern needs to get sun. Yeah. Of course, it's got a wyvern. Is it a really a wyvern? Maybe you're, it's inside a real live wyvern. It's a tavern, dear. It's a tavern. Well, you, could you it be a wyvern at a tavern? For a ta like a tavern to need to get sun. Well, how else is it going to get tan? Exactly. How Thank you, my friend. You must be new, very new to these parts, my dear, but sometimes a tavern does... Need a little bit of vitamin D. Yeah, I live in the Blazing Garden. I've never heard of anything like this, and we have sun all the time. I lived underground. What is vitamin D? Well, the magic be powerful in this town, my dear. Magic be tripping. I'm very confused. Well, I guess we gotta go find it. Drew confused too. Do you think it's going to be in the same place when we go there? Oh, we'll see it because it'll be walking around or sleeping. Well, what, what if we go toward the north part of town and it's not there? Well, then we go to the east. Droog's tall. Maybe he can see it from here. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Droog, what can you see? Droog uh, straightens up and looks. Uh, City. Oh. Buildings. Look for People. something walking. Well, Big building with legs. Well, he's probably getting sun right now, so we should go north. Okay. All right, well, thank you, ma'am. You've been very helpful. Not a problem at all, my dear. Let's load up and move out. Okay. Here, this place is this really way. strange. Why? Because there shouldn't be walking buildings. That's strange. I want to see how it works. Is it really, really alive, or is it just a you big, haven't been big in the twilight machine. pretty and long, have you? No. Where I come from, all the taverns move. Of course, they're not on vibrant or whatever it's on. They are all on these big machines. See, that's good stuff. My favorite is the one with a familiar cat is calling this thing <laughs> What? That's normal. I mean. She's a familiar of my heart. A walking <laughs> tavern's pretty normal in this town. <laughs> my buddy house, house moves. I okay, wonder but if like, they deliver. The, the house moving is more normal than it needing sun, though. That's just <laughs> beyond strange. You all make your way, and you do. You find, um, you find the wandering wyvern in and tavern. As you travel down a winding road, you spot the unusual sight ahead. This extraordinary inn isn't just any building. It's a captivating structure perched on four sturdy enchanted legs, one at each corner, allowing it to roam as it pleases. Currently, the building proper sits about two feet off the ground with foldable stairs that connect it to the road. The exterior of the inn is a charming blend of rustic wood and plaster, meticulously crafted to resemble the quaint, cozy taverns of the lands. The weathered wood and intricate plasterwork tell tales of countless adventures. Hanging proudly above the front door is a beautifully carved sign crafted from rich, Dark wood featuring an exquisitely detailed image of a wyvern in mid-stride. Its wings are partially spread to take flight, and its emerald eyes seem to sparkle with a life of their own. The thatched roof, made of golden straw, catches the sunlight, gives the inn a warm, inviting glow. Tiny enchanted lanterns hang at each corner, casting a gentle light on travelers, even in the darkest of nights. 
The windows, framed in vibrant red shutters, offer a glimpse of, of the lively, warm interior, promising good food, hearty laughter, and captivating tales. As you approach, you notice the inn's legs, crafted from ancient oak, reinforced with intricate ironwork, each adorned with runes and glyphs that hint at the powerful magic animating them. The legs move about, rearranging themselves with a graceful, almost lifelike motion. It makes the inn seem like a gentle giant, ever ready to embark on a new adventure. See, Aya? That's why it needs a son. The legs are photosynthesizing. You don't have uh, to, like, Boing just runs up to the legs and he's immediately starting to poke at it with the staff to see, how, like, how stable they are as they move. As he yep. knocks the entire inn over. <laughs> They're, they are so giant. I mean, it, it's like, um, it would be like somebody coming up to uh, Don the person with a toothpick and trying to knock him over. I gotta make sure it's safe. You know? <laughs> how many times is it poking? Is this thing ticklish? I don't know. I'm Should we be concerned it. Gonna, about that? <laughs> I, I grab my, my, my grimoire out of my backpack and I start drawing pictures. I'm not, because in case I want to make one later. Like a walking house? Yeah. Wouldn't that be cool? That would be cool, actually. Why didn't we have a walking bakery? Yeah. We could bring the baker goods to you. We could bring the baked goods everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> See? You know, this actually has has some. I just can we make it where it doesn't need to have sun, so that we can take it other places than just you know sunny places. Oh, there's like, got to be a way to do that. Maybe so maybe I can make artificial over? sun. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, I could do it. I could do it. Because we want to go like international with this thing, and if we're just stuck in sunny places, we can't do that. That's fair. Anyways, we should probably get in there before it walks away. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay. What if it walks uh, away with us inside? Terry, Terry, I need to go. AFK, I need to, there's something I need to handle. Okay. I'll be I'll be back as soon as I can. I'm going to just hide my uh, thing. Okay. Yep. All right. Um, so I, will, guys... I will back away from the legs, but I'm still, like, looking at it and actually let go. And my, my book keeps writing as I'm walking away because I'm staring at the legs. Well, I follow them inside. Hi, so you... can you help me up the stairs? I can't reach the first step. Yeah, he is, it is a little off the ground, isn't it? Yeah. So just kind of boost him up that first step. Like three foot tall. You know what you need? Springs on your shoes. Oh, you're right. <laughs> See? Well, then would I be called Boing? You could be Boing Boing. That's awesome. <laughs> Puppies. <laughs> <laughs> so pick them up to the first step. I think yeah. we need the rest of the steps from there. Because they're gotta, a little closer together. Little At better. least it's not floating off the ground. So you all head inside? Yes. I guess so. You head inside. Yep. I have not added all of my sound effects, unfortunately, to Questline, so I don't have sound effects for the in proper. I apologize for that, but it will Dude, what's so. your head in the doorway? That's yeah, gonna be a mark. He always does that. <laughs> you step inside, you look around, and it's pretty busy. The tavern is alight with laughter and eating and drinking and merriment. Um, you see all sorts of different people, different ancestries, and they are all kind of enjoying themselves. Uh, you do notice a uh, Rineko who is walking around, appears to be the owner. Uh, you see as she stops at several of the tables, talks to people, takes some orders, uh, before taking, uh, heading back to the bar uh, and making uh, those orders, uh, 
or giving them to the, the cook in the back and preparing the drinks herself. You see several other people in there, um, as I said, a mix, um, but you do notice there is a goblin kind of sitting by himself uh, in uh, a corner, just drinking. Put away my book. And I'm heading over. Okay. Hey! Are you bang clang? Lol? He looks up uh, from the from the the mug of ale that he's drinking. Ah, who are you? I'm boy. You should know that. Oh, I, I just told you. Boy, boy. Yeah. I I know a boy. Boy, boy. You had lots of drink, boy. didn't you? Uh, uh, just a little bit. Just a little bit to drink so far. Oh. I, well. I get by in the next round. Ah, uh, well, maybe I'll do that. Are you the blacksmith? Oh. You didn't uh, tell me. Yes? No? Yes? Yeah. Maybe? Yes? A, b a bang. A bang. A bang. A bang. 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 That's good. We're looking for you. Uh, uh. You're you're here. You're not. You're supposed to be working. I'm. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm. I'm drinking. Well, yeah, but Vague was looking for you, and he says you weren't. You weren't being a helper. <laughs> Do you remember Vague? Uh, you know, Captain uh, Guy uh, on a boat. I, 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 I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. So why? <laughs> why? You could tell yeah. me I'm a goblin. You could tell me anything. All right, go ahead. Give me an aura check. Oh, my gosh. Okay, hold on. First roll of the campaign. First roll. Here we go. Okay. I'm just clicking the button. Is it easier for you to persuade him? It's under, right? Roll under. Yeah, it's under. What is your aura? My my aura is nine. So that is an actually an exceptional roll. Um, let me uh that was okay, that was impressive. So for those at home, this uh is, as this is our first roll, and if you're new to break, um, almost all of our rolls, with the exception of attack rolls, are under rolls. And so what uh, what what Boyne just did is he just rolled under. And with rolling under, let me double check. It's called a special success. Um. And this is an unmodified roll exactly matching the aptitude selected for the checker contest. And in a special special success, you not only complete your action, you actually overachieve. Uh, and it says here, discuss and agree with your GM and an additional benefit as the result of your special success. Top tier first roll. I am I am in agreement there, Sino. Um, well, um, he leans into you. Uh, you know, I, you know the, um, you know the, the Polylop gang. Ah, uh, refresh my memory. Vicious, I mean, gang. vicious, vicious bunch of chibs. They kill you oh. with both kindness and violence. Sort of glances around at Wimble and back. Okay. Chip gang, got it. Damn. They run out of the, the warehouses. Damn. They broke my hand once already and told me if I worked for anybody else, um, they'd break the other one. I if don't... they break your hand, you can't make bang clang. Mm, yeah. 
Bang, bang. That's, that's horrible. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I've, I've had it for a full week. So they won't let you do anything else but work for them? That's, that's not kind. And then they hurt you? Yeah. Yeah. Those are not goblin people. They're mean. Uh, itty bitty gang of tiny tots. I think we need to have a talk with them. Said so their warehouses? Then the warehouse? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he just kind of nods. Um, as this is a special success. Um, you're gonna, uh, you're gonna get, you're gonna, okay, I know, I know. Um, you're boing, you're boing, right? You're boing. Yeah. Boing, 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 boing. Boing. You take this. And he hands you a smithing hammer. Oh. At this special, if you if you take care of you take care of those chibs with this, I reward you kindly. Oh, I'm not really good at hitting with hammers, but I have a friend. He's good with that. Mm. Good, good. And he just kind of he he nods at you, and you can see. He is he is disheartened. Well, we will we will take care of this, and we will make them make them regret hurting you, and they will not hurt you, so you can go bang clang more. Okay, I, I appreciate that. Got it. Um, well, can you this draw me is directions. Can you draw me directions to the warehouse? He goes grabs his it, uh, grabs his book out. Again, flip it open. Just like a like a little map. So I can make sure I go the right place. Do you know? While this is happening, we'll come back to that. Um, okay. Is uh, where where is Aya and Wembley during all of this? Wembley is at the bar. He's getting some milk. All right. Uh oh, we lost Aya too. We just lost Aya. <laughs> no, I'm here. I'm sorry. Oh. My thing was stabbing me in the foot and I was gotcha. trying to <laughs> uh where where is where is Aya at during all this? Um she's just hanging back toward the door trying to keep an eye on everybody. All right. Making sure so at the bar um Wembley the the Ray Neko comes over to you. She looks at you. Oh my gosh, I just realized Neko rhymes with Echo, and so my Alexa just talked to me. Do you, do you want me to <laughs> it off? No, it's fine. It, just, it was just very funny. Um, she uh, looks at you and says, Oh, hello, dearie. What can I get for you? Well, well hi. Hi, uh, hi just I'm a little thirsty. Is there something you have that isn't alcoholic? Well, of course we do. We've got some milk. I would love some milk. It goes good with cookies. Cookies, indeed. She uh, she turns around, grabs a glass, pours the milk, and sets it down in front of you. Now, what's your name, dearie? My name is Wimble. Wimble, Eve Fluffintuff. But people call me Wimbley. Why, hello, Wembley. Who are you, if you don't mind my asking? My name's Ofe. O-F-F-E. Ofe. Thank you. I'm the owner of this here wandering tavern. My friend what? Boeing actually had a question. How'd you get it to wander? <laughs> well, that took a little bit of encouragement and a lot of magic um we wanted to try something different and draw in uh, a crowd and well we knew this town didn't have a wandering inn so we thought 
Why not us? Now, we did have to speak with a variety of people over at the Fimos College, and they were more than happy to assist, and so she's been walking ever since, changing it up on a weekly basis. Well, that's very neat. We were very, we were very scared we wouldn't be able to find you. Oh, no. Once we sit down, we stay for, as I said, a week. Oh, only move on Sundays. Oh, that makes sense. Now, uh, tell me. Not seen you a lot before. What do you do for a living? I'm a part of Sugar Crash. We, uh, we go around helping people. Oh, the Sugar Crash Gang, I do believe I've heard of you. Yeah. You hear about the time I fixed the old lady's roof? Uh, no, tell me about it. Well, one of my friends who happens to also be your Ryan Echo promised she would help someone at the barracks fix a roof, but she never did get to it, so I did it for her. That is so nice of you. <laughs> <laughs> To call back on Neri like that. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> that was so good. You know what? Uh, there, you're going to have the first fate point. Yay! <laughs> uh, that was so good. I was not prepared. Um, well, that is a super kind of you. Um, what brings you to my tavern? We don't... Have any trouble that I know of? Oh, nothing like that. We were hoping to find Bang Clang, and I think we did. We see, we need his help to fix a ship for this guy named Wise Force. Bang Clang does seem to be a bit down right now. Yeah, I wonder why. Tough to tell. Hopefully, it's just a little problem. You know, have cake. That's a big problem. Now that is, um, I, unfortunately, we don't sell cake here, so we wouldn't be able oh. to help him with that. Well, that's fine. We, uh, well, we're big fans of cake and pies and other sweets. My as, wanna... as As this discussion continues... We jump over to um, to Aya, uh, and Aya, you said you're standing by the door, front door, right? Yeah, she just kind of came inside, I was keeping track of everybody. All right, uh, you look around, and uh, nothing looks terribly out of place. Um, you do notice uh, kind of a a young female chib. Um, sitting at a table uh, near the front of the establishment. Um, you see she's swinging her legs back and forth in the chair, uh, almost as if she's talking to herself. Um, there is... Uh, there's something going on with her, but it's hard to tell. Additionally, uh, off in uh, one of the side booths, you see a, a young man and um he's popular it appears with the ladies uh several of them are huddled around him as he's telling stories and making jests um other than that it uh, seems there's uh, several blue collar workers uh, at the bar uh, and a variety of other uh, what I would say, the people out for lunch. Um, so that's what you notice. We jump back over to Boing. Boing, you, you're sitting there, and um, Bang Clang is been appreciative. He's been thanking you. Um, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, it would mean I'd be able to work on other things, too. That'd be nice. I'm sick of working for the 
Sky Haven Dock. Yeah, you gotta make, gotta work on fun stuff. You gotta work on things you want to work on. That's what you gotta work on. It's so true. So otherwise, true. bank clang isn't fun. Right, I like hitting the metal and the noise it makes, and people outside they listen and they they cheer me on with words of encouragement, like "shut the hell up" and "that's loud." And, See, uh, they appreciate you. I know. Can't afford another broken hand, though. No, no, no. We're not going to do that. We're going to go find them, and we're going to tell them no, and if they don't listen to us, we might have to hammer them a little bit. But we'll let them know it came from you, because you need to just, they need to leave you alone. They need to not be so mean. Especially little Chibs. Like, I, I got a friend, Chib. He's not, he's pretty nice, so I don't know, but they don't sound right. Yeah, they're not. They're not. He, can you draw me a picture? Here's my book. Can you draw a picture where the warehouse is? I just want to know because, well, Wimble sort of gets turned around sometimes and Drew, yeah. So if we have a picture of it, it'd be better. He starts to uh, attempt to draw a picture. Now, <laughs> uh, he is he is fairly inebriated. Oh, he's very inebriated. I'm expecting it's and not going to be great. And he has a broken hand, which is, I don't know if it's his good hand. Oh, I'm, I'm expecting broken. it to be horrible, but I, you know, <laughs> I gotta ask. <laughs> and um, so he starts to scream Griggle lines and the big issue that you're you're having as you look at the lines is you can't tell which ones are roads and which ones are buildings um as he kind of puts puts the sketch to paper uh as we'll jump over to wembley Offer looks at you do you always just go and help down on their luck goblins we're not just goblins. Anybody down on their luck. I see. Those with the ability to help should for the good of society. I like that. Well, let me bend your ear a little bit and give you a little information that's been going around the tavern lately. Oh, yeah, that would be much appreciated. There's been some talk. Someone's been experimenting on some of the lower class. Oh, no! Indeed, luring them in with payments. And the rumors say that they've then been leaving them to die after the experiments go afoul. I don't know what to believe or what is drunken boasting and what is truth but figured I'd toss it your way well yeah now would that be happening over at the squalor's end they don't give specifics my dear they just oh, no. give generalizations oh, well, lower, much of the lower class works at uh well, a couple of different places. Uh, one of them being the warehouse, of course. And the other one, though, being the factory. And, of course, I'm talking about the Pixie Puff Pastry Factory. Now, what, what, what would pastries have to do with the evil? It's tough to say, my dear. I'm just telling you where the lower class work. If someone's painting pastries with evil, they will be purged. <laughs> so, are you saying it would be a puff pastry purging? Well, yeah! Nice. Yeah, let them go around ruining the name of Puff Pastry with their dastardly deeds. Understood. Well, I'm glad that I've mentioned it to you then. Ah. Hopefully they're not implicated at all, but if they are, well, I want them to be all right. Of course. Was there any other places before I talked about purging? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh. 
No, um, no, that is the only purging that I do believe is necessary. And I, I will say, Silerin Shadowglen's been showing his face around the tavern a bit more lately. It's making me uncomfortable. Who is this Shadow Glen guy? Uh, Silerin, um, well, at one point was uh, a low-life crook. Um, rob people, ag people, all sorts of, well, not good stuff, but apparently he's found something to make him a bit better off. He comes in now and then showing off his riches, buying drinks for everybody. But I can still see a little sliver of the uncouth beneath It never the does mask. go away. Say again, my dear. It never does go away. It does not. Another milk for you. Oh, yeah, please. But this time, let's do some special chocolate. Oh, of course. Now, Drew, are you uh, you're up at the bar then, too, with uh, Wimbley? Drew is just kind of like standing around, not sure what to do with himself. All right. This is it's all very much and everybody is small and he's trying to not to bang his head on the ceiling and... which is what he did when he walked in by the way he um, hit it on the doorway yes, I, I told you to watch out for it <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know small people buildings yeah I don't know why they don't make them more you know groom friendly <sighs> it okay how's Good. your head doing uh, little bump. Like, always little bump. Okay. Well, you know, let me know if you need anything. I could probably see if I could find some ice or something. Oh, ice. Yes, yes. Ice be good. Yes. Nice okay, cool. well, maybe, maybe... <gasps> oh, here. And she'll kind of run over to the bar. Um, excuse me. Uh, yes, dearie. What is I can do for you? Do you have ice, perchance? Oh, we don't have that kind of money. Oh, I just thought maybe because all the magic you have to make this place walk, you would have the magic to make ice. Oh, that was a one-time purchase. Um, oh. It has all helped right. with business, but ice here in the archipelago? Well, that's tougher to come by. Hmm. All right. Well, you know, thank you. And she'll wander back to Droog. No ice. Ah. They have enough magic for walking taverns, but not for ice. Ice, ice, very special. This place. I, 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 I understand. Yeah. <laughs> well, an hey, entire hey, building hey, hey, wait a minute. Hey, <laughs> Droog, you needed ice? Uh, uh, yeah. Terry, can I spend my fade point to produce you ice? You spend it all already? <laughs> yeah. Fade yeah. point spent. Go with it. Uh, I, I pull out my backpack and I dig through the bag. And Drew, you've known me for weeks at this point. There's no way I should have ice. I dig it at the bottom of the bag and I pull out an ice pack. <laughs> Drew Whoa. takes ice pack. Oh. And he finds, finds the chair that he thinks might actually kind of, sort of, possibly hold him, and sits down, puts the ice pack on his head, just leans back, and you just go, oh. <laughs> oh. I, think, I think you might have fixed Drew's head bumps for, like, a week. Oh. Good. <laughs> yeah, coming from the Blazing Gardens, the first time Drew encountered ice, it became right next to cake, second in line of things he likes most. <laughs> so the chair you found to sit on uh huh. Happened to be right next to the young and chib lady sitting uh, at a table. Uh, she looks 
up at your giant body, leaning back towards her. Uh, hey, I'm down here. Please don't lean too much farther back. Of course, that makes his head wall back further. Uh, oh, goodness. Oh. Hi. Oh, are you okay? A little bump, little bump. Ice, ice better, better. Oh. I droog. I droog. I'm Tamsy Tumble Twirl. Tamsy, nice name. I like name. I I like it too. Um, dr droog is nice, but you could probably spice it up a little bit by calling yourself Droogarium. Happy face. Got too many letters. Oh, okay. I like Jube's name just the way it is. Oh, uh, no, yeah, totally fine. Hi there. Uh, hi. This is my battle buddy, Aya. Yeah. You all she best. She my best bud. Fight each other? No, we fight beside each other. Oh, okay. Well, she uh, my best friend. Uh, we like eat cake too. Do you like cake? Um, <sighs> cake's okay. 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 Do you do you, do you like anything? I mean, uh, you know, I I like lots of different things, but you're not because... muffin person, are you? No. Oh, oh, good, 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 okay. good. They, they cost money, and I, I'm, 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 uh, yeah. Okay. Uh. You, you okay there? Drew, Drew's like getting ready, to like poker, to make sure she's would still. Would you? <laughs> would you like to pet my kitty? And she holds Rika up towards her. Oh. Kitty! Oh, man! Yeah! And she starts petting the kit. I was hoping to save up for a kitty before I was fired. You were fired? Yeah. I was, I was, I was fired from the Polylop gang. The Polylop gang? What, what's that? It, it, they're people who they were my friends. Those sound friendly. Uh, I mean, you know, we, we are the Sugar Crash Gang. <gasps> oh, can I join your gang? I mean, you, you, you don't like cake, though. So. Oh, I guess that's true. It's It's okay. She kind of sniffles. Um, you find gang for you. Yeah, you. it's important to find people that you have common interests with. Yeah. Listen to Aya. She's very smart. Common interests. I, the body lob gang was a common interest. Then they fired me. What were your common interests? I'm not sure yet. Um, I like to do a lot of things. Um, I like to pet cats. You have a cat. I could pet your cat for you. I mean, I'm sure that that Rika would appreciate that. Um, she she seems pretty happy right now. Um. Oh yeah, then I could be part of the Sugar Crush Gang. As a cat petter. I mean, if if that's what you want to do, uh, would yeah. you would would you be willing to uh, help us start a bakery? I mean, yeah, yeah. What? As long as I don't have to scout for things. Oh no! Well, um, we 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 do all the searching for ourselves. Um, we're currently trying to make money so we can save up. 
Because, you know, we want to be able to make cakes and stuff. And it'll be awesome. Okay, cool. Oh, I'm super excited. Thanks. Awesome. Um, well, uh... I, I guess, um, uh, first task is to come with us when we do our next thing. But right now, I think Boing is talking to people. Okay, I'm, thanks. I'm so excited about this. I can't wait. And boing, you see, boing, she, boing have springs. They go boing boing. You it's see, true. That's why he's called Boing. You see her legs are just flying forward and backwards, swinging now in pure, unadulterated happiness. Uh, Boing, we'll jump back to you. You've got your... You've got your map. Spinning it upside down, right side up. You did a great job, Banklang. This is awesome map. Oh, thanks. I appreciate it. Uh, I'll figure out what side goes up at some point. The right side. Oh. That'd make... Oh, I, that's much better that way. Uh, Holds it up. Take his backpack. I'm going to go take care of it. I got the hammer. We're going to go hammer him. We're going to tell the chibs, leave you alone. And... You're going to bang clang things, and everything's going to be good. Right? Yeah, thanks. I appreciate it. I'm okay, gonna... you, you have some more glug glug here. And I'll... Thanks. He'll, he'll pull out a couple coins. Um, Here, you buy another, another drink. You, you earned another drink, so that'll help to give you another glug glug. And he takes it, and uh, he just starts drinking. Uh, jumping real quick up to Wembley. Yeah. Anything else you're doing up there? I know you're finishing up your milk. Yeah, no, I'm finishing up. This time it's got chocolate in it, and I drink it, and I go, "Well, Miss Offie, that was thank that was very good. Thank you so much. How much do I owe you?" Well, my dear, it'll be four stone for the two milks. All right. Pulls out the backpack, digs in it for a second. Pulls it out, goes through a bunch of stones, says four of them on the counter. Alrighty. Well, thank you so much for both your information and your exceptional service. I'm not a problem, Wembley, and I look forward to talking to you again. Absolutely. I'm going to go see what Boing's up to. All I'm right. Put my backpack on and I wander over to Boing. Right. Boing's heading back to the group, so you can meet him on the way. So Boing's heading back to the group, uh, so we'll jump uh, to the four of you together. There, uh, but five of you together. Uh, <laughs> we already as, grown <laughs> as the party has grown by one. We, we made a friend, her name's TMZ. That's great. We have a map. Pull out the book, sort of holds it up. Oh, upside down. And well, um, Ben Clang, the, the evil chip gang broke his hand. Well, I don't suppose any of us know about an evil chip gang. You see, what? there's Tansy. an evil chip gang in town. Nancy looks down. Um, you're not talking about the Polylob gang, are you? They broke his hand with it, and we gotta hit him with a hammer. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Your friends? You got fired from your friends, and they broke his hand? Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. Well, they're not nice. I mean, Binky can be... I mean, Binky... Binky can be pretty mean. What? What? Why are you going around breaking bubble hands? Because they said they'd be my friends and nobody would want to be my friend. See, like, when I asked you if I could be friends with you, you were like, no, you should find other people. And that's been my whole life. Did you say that, Ernie? No. no, I said she should find common interest. She said she didn't like cake. Oh, well, how could she not like cake? She never had cake. Have you ever yeah. had cake? I mean, maybe, she, maybe she had bad cake. I've never had money for cake. Oh, oh. hold we on. Have to give her cake. 
Hard. Hold on. Hold on. Ooh. Pull out my backpack. And yes, I'm going to go ahead and use my uh, always prepared feet and pull out a cake. Because <laughs> I could pull out a booster cake. It's less than 45 gold or whatever the number is. Yes, oh that's true. It is less than 45 coin. All right, you do. <laughs> and, I know um, we're using it for. <laughs> she she looks at it. Her eyes go wide. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Droog's eyes go wide too. Hey, <laughs> you it's mean the best talking. thing you've ever had. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I, I could have a piece of that. Yeah. <sighs> oh. We, you know, the we best way make... to eat it, you just sort of grab it and you just start sticking it in your face. We want to make a store that sells those. Oh, that's so cool. She, uh, she, a big old grin on her face um, as she kind of reaches her hand very slowly and just takes a little piece and pulls back and puts it in her mouth. Droog looks very confused. I didn't know you could eat it in that little amount. I thought you just put the whole thing in. I think she's just trying it, but then she'll probably have the whole thing. Watch. Oh, yeah. And we're all just kind of staring at her. No, 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 eyes wide open watching. <laughs> you see as she falls backwards onto the ground. Oh. Arms, so arms splayed out. What? Yeah, that's what the first Pylop gang member down. Did you just kill her, Loin? Was that a no. poison cake? No, it was not a poison cake. I, I wander over and I poke uh, Tamsi. I don't she, think it's poison cake. She opens her eyes. Are you okay? That was splendiferous. See? So so you like cake? Yes. She can be part of the goop. Okay. Welcome to the friend group. Thank you can you can be the cake carrier and 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 the kitty petter. You know, what, kitty petter. you know what we should do. We what? should cel we should celebrate and eat that cake. Oh, that's a good idea. I think there was a fountain over there. We should go sit by. And that is where we will take our break as the group takes a break to sit and eat. Break. We we know some we, we're cake. taking a cake. We're taking a cake break.